superheroes come in all shapes and sizes. They don't always meet in an underground fortress. Sometimes they meet in places that appear to be very ordinary to most people. But inside, there are heroes in training. Some are smart, strong, or brave. Maybe they can build cities, or heal people when they get hurt. But even superheroes need some help sometimes. With your support, we can change the world. Together, we are a force that can't be defeated. Support the club. Save the world. Support your local superheroes and donate now to the Boys and Girls Club of Noblesville at bgcni.org. It's very true that it takes a village to raise a child. And when it comes to my healthcare village at Community Health Network, it's all nestled right in my phone. Accessing healthcare is the ability to be connected with your provider and ask a question when you need it. I feel like when I'm meeting with a community nurse practitioner or doctor, they're tuned in to what is going on with me and the way that they can serve me best. Blades Audio Video Security is Indiana's premier K-12 audio video and security provider. Blades is a design-built firm that provides high-quality solutions that are designed, engineered, installed, and warranted by our team of experts. For 18 years, we've helped schools and local businesses see and hear more clearly. Whether it's your sound system, your displays, your network, or your building security. Ask how our experienced team can serve you. trophy shop, can't you tell? We got a counter right here. Isn't this where you place the orders? We sell trophies, we sell plaques, we do embroidery. No food. You got carry out? Unlike the internet, everything that you need, we have here at the shop. Very unique. You order today, carry out tonight, that's our version of carry out. All right, I'll take one of everything. Well, that may take a little longer. We'll have it for you tomorrow night. You know, Jim, I'll be back tomorrow to pick it all up. We'll wait for you. Don't wait long. This is where champions play. This is where youth champions play.
This is where collegiate champions play. This is where Olympic and pro champions play. This is where all champions play. In Hamilton County, Indiana. for Logan Street signs and banners. You found us. But this ain't Logan Street. This is South 10th. We moved 22 years ago. Well, how come you didn't change the name? That would have just confused people. Well, actually, South 10th is Allisonville, if you're from Fishers. Well, before that, it was 37A, and before that, it was State Road 37. So you're telling me that Logan Street signs and banners isn't on Logan Street anymore? It's actually on South 10. That's Allisonville and Fishers. And before that, it was 37A and 37? So you got that straight? Logan Street signs and banners conveniently not located on Logan Street, but rather South 10th Street in Noblesville. Exactly. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to tonight's broadcast of IHSAA Boys Basketball on Hamilton County Television, presented by Logan Street Signs and Banners, celebrating over 30 years in business. We'd also like to thank our other great sponsors, Noblesville Trophies, Healer Electric, Chuck Goodrich, President and CEO, Community Health Network, visit HamiltonCounty.com, Hamilton County Sports Authority, Church, Church, Hiddle and Antrim, Lades Audio, Video and Security, Hamilton County Reporter, Sarah Cleverly, FC Tucker Realtor, and the Noblesville Youth Sports Alliance. I'm Brad Silbert along with Perry Williams. And Perry, before we get to chat, we're going to turn things over to Rich Harden for the National Anthem and the opening ceremonies. And the Mill, the proud home of Noblesville Miller Basketball. Tonight we welcome the Pike Red Devils in for an IHSAA contest with your Noblesville Millers. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise if you're able, kindly remove hats and direct your attention to the stars and stripes of our great country, the United States of America, as we pay tribute to those who have fought for our freedom, to those who currently protect it, and to those who have made the ultimate sacrifice with our national anthem.
And now let's meet tonight's starting lineups. First for the visiting Pike Red Devils. Starting tonight for the Red Devils. At one guard, number three, Damon Howard Jr. At a guard, number 11, T.J. Davis. At a guard, number 12, Coriel Spates. Also at guard, number 22, Dijon Hall. And at forward, number 23, Titus Hunter the second. The Red Devils are coached by Jeff Teague. And now it's time for Noblesville Miller basketball. Starting tonight for the Millers. At a guard, a 6'3 sophomore, number 10, Justin Curry. At a guard, 6'1 sophomore, number 30, Baron Walker. At forward, a 6'4 junior, number 22, Aiden Brewer. At a forward, a 6'4 senior, number 24, Hunter Walston. And at guard, a 6'2 senior, number 3, Aaron Fine. Head coach for the Millers is Scott McClellan. Well, Perry, there we have the starting lineups for the uh, first game of 2024 here in the Mill. And this ought to be a good one. you got a couple uh, teams here. The Millers come in 8-1. and one. They've had a pretty good start to the season. Pike Red Devils a little bit off on their game right now. They're 3-6, and six, but they've got a new coach getting used to uh, former Pike All-Star Jeff Teague and... Uh, so a little bit of change there, but uh, I look for this team to put on a good battle tonight. Absolutely, and the one thing about it, a little bit of a change for the Millers tonight. Uh, T.J. Davison is, uh, will not play tonight, and uh, Baron Walker's in, uh, in his position tonight. Going to have to restart this one. Now they're going to say no. the possession is going to go. It, yeah, it's, it goes to uh, Pike. Goes to Pike, correct. You can't tip it and catch it yourself. Tip to yourself, right? Here Dave, we go. Damon Howard put the ball in play. He's one of the big guns for Jeff Teague and company. He averages about 13 and a half points per game. Back to Howard. Thought about shooting the three. He's got Justin Curry on him. Round the horn. That one's knocked away, but the Red Devils come back up with it. Spates had it. Sends it back out to Damon Howard. Howard drives. Rather, that was uh, not Howard. It was T.J. Davis. Shot off the mark by Coriel Spates, and the Millers come up with the ball. Aaron Fine sets the offense. Fine sends it to Brewer. Back to Fine. On the baseline, takes a jumper, doesn't get the bounce, and Red Devils come up with the rebound. It's Coriel Spates with the rebound under the net, try to get it into the middle, and it's intercepted by Fine. Fine drives the basket, gets the layup. Adam Fine opens the scoring for this game tonight. Nice move by Fine, Perry. Yeah, Aaron Fine made a great move there. He's the leading scorer for the Millers at 16 points a game. First shot off the hands of Damon Howard goes off to the left. 
Miller's quickly down the court. Curry with the ball. Fine with it. Brewer back to back to Walker. Brewer drives, sends it back out. Three on the way from Baron Walker. Miller's out to a 5-0 lead here in the early going. Three on the way for the Red Devils. Off of the hands of T.J. Davis. Aaron Fine came up with the rebound. Hunter Walston with a three. Jeff Teague has called a timeout already. 8-0 in favor of the Millers. You're watching Hamilton County Television Sports brought to you by Logan Street Signs and Banners in Noblesville. Celebrating over 30 years, Logan Street Signs and Banners specialize in that last-minute signage and banners. Serving Noblesville and Hamilton County since 1992, you can contact them at 317-773-7200 or visit them on the website at loganstreetsigns.com. What about Noblesville Trophies? Noblesville Trophies offers you a large range of products, including sports trophies, corporate awards. Noblesville Trophies provides you with that same-day service for those last-minute decisions. Contact them at 317-773-7391 or check them out on their website, noblesvilletrophies.com. Just a little bit over two minutes into this game, Perry, and the Millers have come out with a hot hand so far. Right under the basket, Howard puts the shot up. He misses, he's fouled, he's gonna go to the line and shoot two. And it looks like that's gonna be charged to Justin Curry. Indeed, it does go to Justin Curry. First on him, first on the team. Howard steps up to the line, shooting 68% from the free throw line. Howard is a junior, gets the front end. One more for uh, Damon Howard, Jr. Got both. Overall, this team is a uh, 65% free throw shooting team, but they've been to the line as much as the Millers have. They've been to the line 70 times this season. So far, the Millers have been there 101 times. So free throw shooting and getting to the free throw line could be big in this game as it goes on. Justin Curry with the three point shot. He misses long. Aiden Brewer is right there to try to get the rebound. Last touch by the Red Devils. So Hunter Walston will put it back in play for the Millers. Walston gets it into Curry. Back to Walston. Misses on the jump shot. I think that slipped out of his hands a little yeah, bit. Yeah, looked like Damon Howard quickly down the court. Into the corner and then back out to Howard again. He's quick, isn't he? Yes, very quick. This team overall is very fast. See if they, yep, did and not draw the, but Brewer was trying to draw the charge there, but he could not get the draw on the charge. So Aiden Brewer picks up his first, second on the team. Going to put Damon Howard right back at the line for two more. Made his first two here about a minute ago. Now he's two for three. Three minutes into this game, and the Red Devils have yet to get a uh, field goal. All, all two of their, both of their points have come. Now all three of their points have come from free throws. By Mr. Howard. Yes. Aaron Fine sets the offense for the Millers. Looking for some help. Gets it from Walker. Back to Fine. Hunter Walston. Curry drives. Does not get the roll. Nice Grabs job. the ball back. Wow. He just ripped he that just, ball away. Yeah, he just took it right away from him. So Curry is on the board with his first two points. Miller's tried to save it, but it went right over to the Red Devils. Jump shot. First field goal of the game for 
The De Red Devils goes to uh, Titus Hunter. Coming up on four minutes remaining here in the uh, first half, or first quarter, rather. Hunter Walston looking for some help. Right back to Walston, into the corner to Brewer, or excuse me, Baron Walker. Justin Curry. Fine. Back to Walker. Fine. Works the base. He worked the baseline just beautifully on that shot, didn't he, Perry? Yes, absolutely. And he's very good at that. That's a. That's kind of one of his. Uh, had the shot there. Sent it off to uh, Hunter. Hunter missed. But the uh, Red Devils are going to retain the possession as they're going to make a substitution here. As Coriel Spates goes off to the bench and Jalen Ashley comes off the bench for the Red Devils. Hunter. That should be a travel. Yes, it is. Zion Hall tried to split the defense there, Perry. He looked more like yeah. a... <laughs> More like a football play than yeah, a, like than a, a basketball play. <laughs> so Aaron Fine brings the ball past the timeline. Back out to Fine. Brewer in the corner to Hunter Walston. He takes the shot blocked. On the line there. Yeah. Nice block by uh, number 23, Hunter. Uh, Titus Hunter, Miller's got the ball back, but did have their foot on the line, so it'll be a turnover. Here comes Howard. Looked a little bit out of control there. Three on the way. That is good. Dijon Hall tightens it up a little, makes it a 12 to 8 lead in favor of the Millers. At 2:35 here in the first. Curry loses the handle there. He, yeah, oh, he Walker. lost the handle. Jump ball in favor of the Millers. Millers get a break there because uh, basically uh, Walker just lost uh, the handle on the ball there. I don't know if he was not ready for it or. I think it was a low pass too. Yeah, couldn't make the connection there. But the Millers do get it back in the alternating possession. Oh, my goodness. Aaron Fine was coming for Hunter Walston. And uh, Fine threw it one way. Walston went the other. Another turnover there for the Millers. Howard with the ball. Gets Curry it taken takes. away. For, oh, wow. Nice steal by Curry. Aaron Fine for three. He's he got, got it. <laughs> Aaron Fine now. I got him for seven, Perry. He's, he's on fire here in the early going. Howard, back up top to Howard. He's got Curry on him. I did not see what we had called there. Offensive foul. Uh, Hall, foul on Hall. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Thank Offensive you. foul. Luke Edgerson coming in the ball game for the Millers in place of Brewer. Curry, jump shot, no good. But who's right there? Damon Howard Jr. picks it up. Gets it over to Ashley. Ashley under the net, takes the jump shot. Three Millers under the net. Walston comes down with it. He's quickly down the floor into the corner, in right the under the basket. Oh. And uh, Luke Etchison had a nice, easy shot there, but just could not get it to fall. Foul on Etchison. Luke Etchison picks it up. That's going to be the uh, third on the team. Ryan Veter comes off the bench. Curry sets for a minute. Isaiah Hill into the game for the Pike Red Devils. Will Smiths will not be dressing tonight also, Perry, for the Millers. So Millers a couple, uh, couple uh, bodies short here. Paul, Howard, Howard turns around with the jump shot, misses. 
Rebounded by T.J. Davis, all the way out for a three by Jalen Ashley. Four-point lead for the Millers, just about one minute remaining here, first quarter. Aaron Fonning sets the offense. Looking back toward the bench to get some uh, orders from uh, Coach Mack. He's not good. They're not going to get in any hurry right here. With a four-point lead in the first quarter. Looks like they're going to set it up for one. Yeah. Especially since Pike's not coming out to guard them. No, Pike has made no uh, no move toward uh, guarding them at all. In fact, Dieter is just standing here with the ball on his uh, on his waist. Isaiah Hill is about 10 feet away from him, and we're under 20 seconds. Beater is kind of rocking back and forth there. See what he does when it hits 10 here. I imagine that's, yep, that's the magic number. Of course, Aaron I'll give it Fine. to Fine. Yep. Fine he, drives. Oh, nice what a block. block. Woo. Big Isaiah, block right there. Yeah, Isaiah Hill with the block. But the Millers are going to have the ball back with 3.8 remaining in the quarter. Aaron Fine will put it in play. Millers will have to get a quick shot off here. Walston takes the shot. He's going to be short. And that is how the quarter is going to end. At the end of one, Noblesville Millers 15, Pike Red Devils 11. You're watching Hamilton County Television Sports presented by Logan Street Signs and Banners in Noblesville. Can I help you? Uh, yeah. I'm looking for Logan Street signs and banners. You found us. But this ain't Logan Street. We moved 22 years ago. But you're telling me that Logan Street signs and banners isn't on Logan Street anymore. Exactly. So what are you saying? Logan Street signs and banners conveniently not located on Logan Street, but on South 10th Street in Noblesville, Indiana. Welcome back here at first quarter, Noblesville Millers 15, uh, Pike Red Devils 11. The second other one of our sponsors, Gaylor Electric, the highest performing national contractor of excellence. Since 1984, Gaylor Electric success continues to be built on a cornerstone of reliable resources, reliable outcomes. Insights fueled by the genuine care of people, Gaylor Electric, along with Chuck Goodrich, President and CEO, are proud sponsors of Hamilton County Sports. Well, Perry, I would say that the uh, Millers definitely won that first quarter, not only on the board with uh, point-wise, but defensively, they only had let three Pike Red Devils score, and each of those was one field goal apiece, and uh, the other three points came from Damon Howard, so that's a pretty big accomplishment uh, for the uh, Millers. That's going to be a foul on the Millers. It's going to be two shots coming. Aaron Fine picks that foul up. At the line for the Red Devils, John Hall, two shots. John Hall goes to the line. He shoots 65%. First shot is good. Hall with one three-point goal so far in this game tonight. Second shot is also good. So Hall makes it a uh, two-point game here. Early moments here in the uh, second quarter. Hunter Walston into the corner. And Veter thought about... Uh, Thought about taking a shot, but he didn't. But I believe we're going to have a foul called here on Pike. Yes, on number 11. T.J. Davis picks that up. Millers will have the ball out of bounds into Hunter Walston. Baron Walker back to Curry. Curry with a three. Nothing wow. but net there. That gives the... Uh, was that Baron Walker or was that Justin Curry? Curry. I thought, I thought that's what he said. We got a foul Logan called. Foul second, second. Justin Curry, another yeah. foul. That's his it's, second. Mm -hmm. That could be trouble down the road. Right. 
He's on Hall with it. Sends it to T.J. Davis. Davis looking for help. He's got Aaron Fine on him. From the corner, drives into the middle. Going to have a travel there. I think that was a little bit of a case of slip and slide there, Perry. Well, also, uh, Veter got a, got his hand on the ball, yeah. okay, mm -hmm. and kind of slowed him down and made him take that extra step. See Walston if, bringing up the ball up the court. See if the Miller can take advantage of that turnover. Fine. Back to Veter. Walston looking for help. Finally gets it from Brewer. Back to Brewer once again. Walston. Aaron Fine. Drives the lane. Thought about to take the uh, jump shot, but he didn't. And uh, Walston lost control of the ball, but I believe we're going to have a foul called here against the Red Devils. A little bit of a break there for the Millers. Jalen Ashley picks up the foul, number two in the quarter for them. Hunter Walston, Veter, Aaron Fine with the jumper, and he's got it. Aaron Fine just about ready to go into double figures already, Perry, with yeah, nine points. Damon Howard Jr. sends it across to Hall. Hall back to Spates. Spates to Howard. Hall takes a long three, rolls right across the net, but nice rebound by Isaiah Hall. Damon Howard misses it, and there to pick it up for the Millers is Hunter Walston. Back and forth between Walston and Fine. Back to Fine this time. Fine takes a three. He's got it. He's in double figures. Aaron Fine having an excellent game so far tonight. He's got 12. Damon Howard with it into the corner. Ashley with the shot. That's going to be over the back. That's going to be on Isaiah Hall for the Red Devils. Jeff Teague not happy about that call, but Hall definitely went over his back on that one. Third team foul of the quarter already for the Red Devils. Hunter Walston picking up a little bit of extra duty tonight. Setting up some of the plays. Veter back to Walston. Brewer hands it back to Fine. Fine under the net. Brewer nice turns block. and misses, but he's blocked. That was a good defensive move there on the part of the Red Devils. 5.06 remaining here in the half. Miller's out in front by 10. That's about the third block for Hill, too. Yeah, he's, he's done a nice job yeah, out there tonight. He, he's got good timing. Fine with another three. That one's going to be a little bit short. Hits the top of the backboard. So the Pike Red Devils will take it over. With 4.59 remaining here in period number two. Nice sized crowd for a Tuesday night. Yeah, with that's school what I thought. Them. Yeah. Red Devils bring the ball down the court. T.J. Davis setting the offense over to Damon Howard. Howard has uh, got tripped up there, and I believe that that's going to go on uh, yeah, Aiden Brewer. That's going to be his second. Both teams with three fouls now here in the second quarter. Etchison comes in the ball game as Brewer sets for because of that foul. Damon Howard quickly around into the corner. Ashley had it. Hall with the ball. And it looks to me like uh, Isaiah Hill is going to pick this one up for the Devils. Yeah, that is the case, Barry. One more. And uh, the Millers will be 
shooting two shots for the rest of the uh, quarter. So the Millers inbound the ball. Veter sends it to Walker. Walker takes the jump shot. He's got it. Baron Walker. Baron Walker with five points now in the game. Miller's threatening to pull away a little bit in this one right now, Perry. Up by 12. Damon Howard. That's going to go against the Millers, and I think that's going to be on Veter. Oh, it's on Baron Walker. His first, fourth. So both teams will be shooting. The double bonus for the rest of the half. Damon Howard trying to figure out how we can get something going here for the Red Devils. The Miller defense has been pretty strong so far tonight. Nice jump shot, but off the mark by Dijon Hall. Miller's come up with the ball, and Aaron Fine quickly down the court. Fine has a lane, puts the jumper up, and he's got Beautiful it. Beautiful shot by wow. Aaron Fine. 14 points for the senior. And we're going to have a 30-second timeout called here, I believe. They haven't made it official yet. We'll have to see what their what they're officials having some... Uh, Okay, that's going to be a full timeout. You're watching Hamilton County Television Sports presented by Logan Street Signs and Banners in Noblesville. Community Health, as a leader in Central Indiana sports medicine, has a, li a deep lineup of orthopedic and sports medicine specialists to keep you playing at the top of your game. Whether it's a pulled muscle or a torn ACL, Community physicians are helping area athletes remain active and competitive. Visit ecommunity.com slash sports. How about uh, Sarah Cleverly? Close it with Clev, 317-695-6114. Looking for someone to help you navigate buying or selling a home? Let Sarah cleverly help find the home of your dreams. Clev's been a resident of Noblesville for almost 40 years, a graduate of Noblesville, an invested member of the community. For your next real estate experience, close it with Clev. The Red Devils take a timeout, Perry, to stop the bleeding. Millers have outscored the Red Devils 12-2. Well, make it... Uh, 12-5 now here in the second uh, quarter. Aaron Fine drives the baseline. He traveled. Jalen Ashley with that last three-point goal for the uh, Red Devils. He's got two three-pointers so far tonight, but the Millers still have an 11 point lead with three minutes remaining here in the second quarter. Howard brings it down, gonna try to make it all up himself. Gets the bank. Luke Etchison tried to draw the foul, but that didn't do any good. And Damon Howard has got his first field goal of the night. Miller's drive under the net, lost, tipped away by the Red Devils. Nice job of tipping that away. T.J. Davis quickly down the floor. We're going to have a block called there. I believe this is going to go on Ryan Veter Perry, and it's going to put the Red Devils at the line for two. Yes, it is Veter. It is his first. Fifth for the uh, Millers in the quarter. John Hall has been to the line twice already tonight. He's two for two. Gets the bounce. Three for three for the 6'4 sophomore. Yeah. 
He's got both of them. Four for four from the line. Seven points in the game. That 11-point lead is now down to seven. Three from the corner. Darren Walker, that's his second three-point goal of the game, Perry. He's got eight. Backcourt violation there on Damon Howard. I think he thought he was going to draw a foul on that play, Perry, but yeah, uh, was back. when the contact was made, his uh, right foot ended up going into the backcourt. So the Millers get another turnover from the Pike Red Devils. Here comes Hunter Walston. Aaron Fine looking for a lane, gets it back to Walston. Walston launches a three, hits the rim quickly down the court. Will they count? No, they're saying it was on the floor. Good move by Hall, but. Uh, Fine picks up his second. He's going back for his fifth and sixth free throws. So far, he's perfect from the free throw line. One three pointer, and so far, five free throws. Dijon Hall misses that. Shoots 65% normally from the free throw stripe, Perry, so he's well above that average right now. Aaron Fine back to Veter. Veter looking for help, gets it to Walston. Aaron Walker had it, now it's under the net. Etchison has fouled on the play. Yeah, Luke Etchison drove and he picks up the foul. Pike foul number 42, Langston Chubb, his first, team fifth. Langston Chubb picks up the foul. That's number five on the Red Devils. Etchison up there with two shots. Misses the front end. For That'll bring uh, two, Baron Walker. Walker back into the game and Adam Fine seeing his first action of the game. Luke Etchison steps back to the line for number two. Got it. So Etchison is on the scoreboard tonight. Coming up on a minute remaining. Nice move by Luke Etchison. Stole the ball, puts the jumper up, misses second attempt. Beater's got the ball under the net. He tries again, and he misses it. What a a chain of events there. Pike foul number 42, Langston Chubb, his second. At the line for... Langston Chubb picks up his second in a row. Yeah. Ryan Veter goes to the line for the Millers for two. That one was just a little bit off to the right. Millers with their fourth free throw of the night. They are now two for four from the line, and Veter is on the scoreboard now with one point. Under a minute remaining, Damon Howard setting the offense once again for the Red Devils. He drives. Offensive foul is called against Howard. Howard's first foul. Yes. Luke Etchison comes off. Curry coming back in the ball game. So Curry, Walker, Veter, Aaron Fine. Fine came in for Fine and Walston. From one Fine to another, right? One Fine to another. (laughs) Good one, Brad. 
Uh, every once in a while we come up with something good, don't we? Yeah. Have a foul away from the ball. I think that's going to put... Uh, T.J. Davis is going to pick that foul up and is going to put Aaron Fine back at the line. Well, at the line, not tonight. Tonight this is his first attempts at the line. Gets the roll. Edgerson back in, Curry out. Red Devils cut the lead to about seven there at one point. Oh, goodness. My. It just kept rolling on the rim there. The Millers have got it back up to 12 points now, 33-21. Oh, boy. Almost stolen there by uh, Walston. Hunter Walston. Fine back in for Fine. Adam yeah. Fine back in for Aaron. Yeah. Aaron sits. Adam runs. 11 and a half seconds. T.J. Davis sets the offense for the Red Devils. Howard with a three. He's got it. So at the end of the first half of this game, it's the Noblesville Millers 33, Pike Red Devils 24. You're watching Hamilton County Television Sports presented by Logan Street Signs and Banners in Noblesville. kid who really was above the rest of the talent that was here. And his dad was coaching. And I asked, why do you have him here? He goes, he needs to be humble. And he needs to learn to be a good team player. And I think a lot of that he learned right here at the Boys and Girls Club. So the sporting opportunities they offer here at the Boys and Girls Club are basketball, volleyball, and cheerleading. The first sport my daughter played here in kindergarten was basketballs. I appreciate that they offer it at the age of kindergarten. Um, that's just a really hard group to get together into an organized sport. The main thing is good sportsmanship and it's about having fun and teach the kids the fundamentals and about winning and losing and about how sportsmanship is really um, the main thing we want taught. Kind of breaking it down back to the basics so they understand like the fundamental parts of cheering, building it upon to like an overall actual routine that they do at the end of the year. Anyone, it doesn't have to be a Noseville kid, can participate in this league. It's kindergarten through high school. We don't turn any kid away from financially or skill-wise. So if a kid's just beginning or if a kid's super advanced and maybe played on the school team or wants to play on the school team, we don't turn any kids away. As far as cost goes, you do have to be a member of the Boys and Girls Club, which is 60 bucks, And then you have to join the league. Uh, which pays for the league fees and all that stuff. We always figure out a way to get kids to participate, whether it's scholarship or reduced rate. Um, we want them to feel like they're able to play here. Each team has an hour a week that they have practice and an hour a week that they have a game. So really, you're only looking at two-hour commitment a week. It's a good stepping stone, I think, for any future squads they may want to be a part of. My kids have played in this basketball league and my older kid has played in some travel leagues, but this is where he had the most fun. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for Logan Street signs and banners. You found us. But this ain't Logan Street. This is South 10th. We moved 22 years ago. Well, how come you didn't change the name? That would have just confused people. Well, actually, South 10th is Allisonville, if you're from Fishers. Well, before that, it was 37A, and before that, it was State Road 37. So you're telling me that Logan Street Signs and Banners isn't on Logan Street anymore. It's actually on South 10th. That's Allisonville and Fishers. And before that, it was 37A and 37? So you got that straight? Logan Street Signs and Banners conveniently not located on Logan Street, but rather South 10th Street in Noblesville. Exactly. Phase one clinical trials. Probably not something you think about every day. Fortunately, we do. 
Because at Community Health Network MD Anderson Cancer Center, we do just about anything for the health and well-being of our community. Providing access to even more potentially groundbreaking phase one clinical trials is just one of the ways we're doing that. Let's take this journey together. Initial consultations are available in just 48 hours. Can I help you? Yeah, I'd like to order a hamburger, fries, salt, maybe a large vanilla shake. Yeah. This is a trophy shop, can't you tell? You got a counter right here. Isn't this where you place the orders? We sell trophies, we sell plaques, we do embroidery. No food. You got carry out? Unlike the internet, everything that you need, we have here at the shop. Very unique. You order today, carry out tonight, that's our version of carry out. All right, I'll take one of everything. Well, that may take a little longer. We'll have it for you tomorrow night. You know, Jim, I'll be back tomorrow to pick it all up. We'll wait for you. Don't wait long. <laughs> if you've ever watched a loved one being treated for cancer, you know the feeling. There's nothing you wouldn't do to make them well. At Community Health Network MD Anderson Cancer Center, we get it. That's why we bring a multidisciplinary approach to care teams. We've got a lot of people who know how to treat your specific type of cancer. There's no reason they shouldn't all be working together. And one really good reason why they should. Initial consultations are available in just 48 hours. This is where champions play. This is where youth champions play. This is where collegiate champions play. This is where Olympic and pro champions play. This is where all champions play. In Hamilton County, Indiana, Blades Audio Video Security is Indiana's premier K-12 audio video and security provider. Blades is a design-built firm that provides high-quality solutions that are designed, engineered, installed, and warranted by our team of experts. For 18 years, we've helped schools and local businesses see and hear more clearly. Whether it's your sound system, your displays, your network, or your building security, ask how our experienced team can serve you. Holiday magic makes memories. And in Hamilton County, Indiana, holiday magic is in the air. Whether it's the old world holiday market, the festive performances, the brightly lit town squares, or thrilling winter adventures, magical memories are made here. There's no place like Hamilton County, Indiana for the holidays. Plan your getaway at visithamiltoncounty.com. It's closer than you think. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for Logan Street signs and banners. You found us. But this ain't Logan Street. This is South 10th. We moved 22 years ago. Well, how come you didn't change the name? That would have just confused people. Well, actually, South 10th is Allisonville, if you're from Fishers. Well, before that, it was 37A, and before that, it was State Road 37. So you're telling me that Logan Street Signs and Banners isn't on Logan Street anymore. It's actually on South 10th. That's Allisonville and Fishers. And before that, it was 37A and 37? So you got that straight? Logan Street Science and Banners, conveniently not located on Logan Street, but rather South 10th Street in Noblesville. Exactly. Ah! Ah!
Well, welcome back here at the mill. Halftime score, Noblesville Millers 33, Pike Red Devils 24. I want to thank a couple more of our sponsors. Blades Audio Video Security is Indiana's premier K-12 audio video security provider. Blades AVS is a design build firm that provides high quality solutions that are designed, engineered, installed, and warranted by our team of experts. Over 18 years, we have been helping schools and local businesses see and hear more clearly. We've added securing your facilities to how we can serve you. So whether it is a sound system, your displays, your network, or your building security, ask how our experienced Blades Audio Video security team can serve your business. Well, we're getting ready here, uh, Brad, to start uh, the second uh, half of action. I will have to say uh, uh, Miller's playing uh, very good basketball. Uh, Aaron Fine right now has uh, 15 points here at the half. Um, but uh, the one thing is uh, uh, a nine-point difference in, uh, in this ball game, and uh, Pike's hanging in there. Well, one of the things the Millers have done, Perry, is uh, they've kind of spread the scoring out among one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different, uh, six or seven different players where uh, the Pike Red Devils have had uh, four players uh, hit the scoreboard so far tonight. And uh, so far the Millers have held uh, Coriel Spates, who is their second leading scorer, averaging eight points a game. Uh, one of their starters, they've held him down to nothing. And uh, Damon Howard has got eight points on the game, and he averages about 13 and a half. So the uh, Red Devils got a little bit of work to do here, but also the Millers do if they want to uh, continue to increase this lead. Yeah, and, and shout out, too, to uh, Baron Walker. He uh, come in tonight starting. I mean, he plays a lot of minutes, but he's got uh, eight points now. From the corner, just as you call his name, Baron Walker. Gets the three. That gives him 11 points. He's in double figures. Baron Walker, one good thing too, Brad. Baron Walker's only a sophomore. Yeah, we don't see a lot of him, but uh, he does a good job coming off the bench. And tonight nice he got steal. the start. Hunter Walston with the steal and the layup. And that'll give Walston five points on the night. He averages 12. Red Devils trying to figure out this Miller defense, which has just been very, very good tonight. Howard with the ball over into the corner. Gets it to T.J. Davis. Davis puts a shot up. Missed. I don't know if he was a little bit off balance when he took that, but... Aaron Fine comes back, and he grabs the ball. Oh, my. Wow. Justin Curry, did you see him hit the floor there? Yeah. I was worried that the back of his head was going to, he was going to get hurt. That was, a, that was a hard fall. But he appears to be okay. He just came down flat on his back. He's a tough football player, Brad. Damon Howard with the ball. Of course, no matter how you, tough you are when you hit that hard floor. Oh, it? yeah. Oh, out of bounds. Noblesville basketball. Yep. Miller's forced another turner over there as Coriel Spates just could not get to that ball in time. Put a little pressure on the air and fine here. D.J. Davis has had the assignment on him so far tonight. Aaron Fine back into the corner. Walker. Hunter Walston right under the basket. And he gets fouled, but he got fouled before the shot. So there will be no shot here, just a common foul called. But it will be a push. 
TJ Davis picks up his third. So he's going to have to go to the bench early here in the third quarter. Fine puts the ball in play to Walston. Aaron Fine with it. Back to Walston. Walston thought about a three. Got Howard on him. Walker back to Fine. Jean Hall has done a good job defending tonight. Oh, nice block there by Isaiah Hill. Great play right yep. there. Quickly down the court is Dijon Hill Hall. You got a Hall and a Hill out there. So it could get a little confusing. No, nothing could have been more confusing. There it is, Curry for three. Curry picks up his second three-point goal of the night. He's got eight in the contest. Nothing would have been more confusing than than Pike having T.J. Davis and and Noblesville having T.J. Davis. Yeah, yeah, it could have been. Nice move there. Nice the tip in there by Brewer. Aiden Brewer gets the putback. Great job by him. Three on the way. Oh, that is a three. Coriel Spates. He's that's finally his, on the board. That's his first yeah. points of the game. Finally on the board. 43-29, 4.30 remaining here, third quarter. Hunter Walston thought he was passing it to somebody at the baseline, but there was nobody there except for Damon Howard. He was probably thinking Brewer was yeah, there. He's got the wrong color uniform on. Howard takes the jump shot, misses. But who gets it right back but Hunter Walston? Timeout called by Noblesville. Uh, We're going to take a 30-second timeout. And we'll remind you, you're watching Hamilton County Television Sports, presented by Logan Street Signs and Banners in Noblesville. Celebrating over 30 years, Logan Street Signs and Banners specialize in that last-minute signs and banners. Serving Noblesville in Hamilton County since 1992. You can contact them at 317-773-7200. Or visit their website on LoganStreetSigns.com. What about Noblesville Trophies? It gives you a large range of products, including sports trophies and corporate awards. Noblesville Trophies provides you that with same-day service for his last-minute decision. Call them at 317-773-7391. Or check them out on their website, NoblesvilleTrophies.com. You know, Perry, you notice a lot of... We were just commenting at halftime about uh, the number of people here tonight, and Pike has got a pretty good turnout for tonight for a, for a weekday and everything. But uh, Miller's once again, Baron Walker. He's having uh, he's having a great game tonight. Thirteen points, right under the basket, gets knocked away. Aaron Fine with the little magician move there to get that. He takes the ball end to end, and he's got it. Aaron Fine having a career game tonight with 17 points. Well over his average of 16, with a lot of time remaining. Hey, Brad, I want to remind all of our uh, viewers and listeners out there that uh, we'll be back here next Tuesday for a girls game mm-hmm. as uh, the Mount Vernon Marauders come to town to play the Noblesville Miller girls. John Hall goes back to the line for his seventh and eighth attempt. And on Saturday, uh, Connorsville comes to town uh, to play the Noblesville Miller boys. So you got a lot of great basketball coming up here on Hamilton County Television this month. You know, finish December on a uh, you know on a high note with the uh, boys and girls holiday tournaments and starting off January with a lot of great basketball. Absolutely, and the one thing about it, the both the Miller boys and girls ended the, uh, the 23 uh, year with both of them winning the holiday tournament and played great basketball. Hunter Walston for three, he's got it. That's 16 points for Hunter Walston. 
Eight of those have come in this quarter. Damon Howard missed his man over there right in front of Coach Teague. And it's eight points uh, for the game, Brad. Not 16 for Hunter Walston. Excuse me, I put that in the wrong place. You're correct. I gave Baron Walker credit for those. Sorry. Luke Etcherson, Luke Etcherson draws the foul there. That's Etcherson's second foul. 20 point lead now for the Millers. Three on the way for the Red Devils. And DeJean Hall now with uh, what have we got him with? I've got him with 13 now. Yeah. That one bounces out of bounds. That's five in this quarter for Hall, too. Yeah, a couple free throws. And Scoreboard has got him with 14. I've got him with 13. But what have you got for him? Nice reverse layup there by Aaron Fine. 14. When things are going your way, they're going your way. Okay, I stand corrected. 19 now for Aaron Fine. Approaching the two-minute mark here in the third quarter. 19-point lead for the Millers. That one's knocked down by Hunter Walston. And unfortunately for Damon Howard, he got in the way there, and he's yeah. going to pick up the... 2.02 remaining in the third quarter. 19-point advantage for the Millers. Miller started this quarter with a nine-point advantage. Hunter Walston with a long three. He's got it. Now he's in double figures. Yep, at 11. Baron Walker's in double figures, and Aaron Fine is in double figures. Walker, or rather uh, Damon Howard, trying to get something going here for his team, but the Red Devils just can't seem to uh, break out of this uh, funk that they're in tonight, Perry. But you also have to give the Millers a lot of credit. They played a heck of a good game tonight. Quickly into the corner, three on the way from the corner. That one's missed. Walston with the rebound. Walston's got it. Going to set up the offense. We're under a minute. 22-point lead for the Millers. I'm sure that this is not the way Jeff Teague wanted his first season at Pike to go. But uh, he's got some work to do, but he'll... He'll bring this team around. Well, what was exciting here tonight, Brad? We had a JV game, and they also had a freshman game here tonight. Yeah. So JV and, went to overtime. Yeah. Twelve seconds remaining. We're going to have a foul called. John Hall picks up his second. Third team foul of the quarter. Millers have got 12 seconds to try to extend this lead here before the end of the quarter. Hunter Walston with it. He's had the hot hand from out high. Aaron Fine puts the jumper up. He's got it. Aaron Fine, 21 points for the game. At the end of three, it's now Noblesville Millers 57, Pike Red Devils 33. You're watching Hamilton County Television Sports presented by Logan Street Signs and Banners in Noblesville.
Can I help you? Uh, yeah. I'm looking for Logan Street signs and banners. You found us. But this ain't Logan Street. We moved 22 years ago. But you're telling me that Logan Street signs and banners isn't on Logan Street anymore. Exactly. So what are you saying? Logan Street signs and banners conveniently not located on Logan Street, but on South 10th Street in Noblesville, Indiana. We're back here at the mill. Miller's leading 57-33 over uh, applied for Red Devils. Gale Electric is the highest performing national contractor of excellence since 1984. Gale Electric success continues to be built upon a cornerstone of reliable resources, reliable outcomes. Insights fueled by the genuine care for people. Gale Electric, along with Chuck Goodyear, as president and CEO, are proud sponsors of Hamilton County Sports. Millers with a 24-point lead going in here to the uh, final quarter. What a way to start the year for the Millers, Perry. They have been on a roll tonight. Another uh, unforced error there. You got to give Pike, as Jim was saying, you got to give them an A for their effort, but it just uh, hasn't. Millers have just been one step ahead of them all night. And I don't think, uh, honestly, I don't think three and six shows the quality of this team because this is not a bad basketball team. No, they Barry. play a pretty good schedule, too. Yeah. Mm hmm. They got, enough, they got a tough one coming up here as they go to Fishers this weekend, right, Brad? Yes, they do. Fishers is really looking good. Still undefeated. They, like the Millers, won their uh, holiday tournament this year that they hosted. Hunter Walston for another three. That one's a little bit short. Dayton Stevenson or rather Dayton Stevens on the floor for the Red Devils now. I tell you what, the one thing about Pike is their quickness. Oh, they are. They're almost like magicians out there. Good job there by Curry defensively. Yeah, just managed to get a hand on that ball. Yeah. And then the uh, Red Devils just couldn't recover in time and went off the Went out of bounds, last touch by the Red Devils. 6.46 remaining in the fourth. Hunter Walston. Over to Baron Walker, who's had a great game tonight. Aaron Fine also's had a great game tonight for the Millers. Millers draw, or Red Devils drive, and nice move there by Eden Brewer to take that pass away from the Red Devils. Aaron Fine, Aiden Brewer with it. Back to Justin Curry. Curry for three. Justin Curry from Aiden Brewer. Now Curry's in double figures. So the Millers got four players in double figures. And it's just an outstanding performance tonight for the Millers. Here comes Curry quickly down the court. Nice play. To, oh, Curry to Baron Walker. You know, he didn't have to give that ball away, Perry, and he did. And he just gave two points away, and Baron Walker was able to convert. Time. We're going to take a 30-second timeout. You're watching Hamilton County Television Sports, presented by Logan Street Signs and Banners in Noblesville. Community Health Network walk-in clinic for sports injuries is open Monday through Friday from 8 to 10. Sports medicine and orthopedic physicians are on site to treat everything from sprains to strains to fractures and joint injuries. Visit ecommunity.sports for more information. You know, Brad, the one thing about that last play there from Curry to Walker, sports fans, you're going to see that for a while because those are both sophomores. Yeah. Great bit of sportsmanship. Yeah, absolutely. How many people would have given that play up, Perry? Not a lot. But that's the kind of... Uh... Well, I think one of the things that Coach Max accomplished in these last couple of years is getting this team that, that, that 
that basketball is a team game. Yeah. yeah it's good not- to, and, and good team game and defense is very, very important. Howard with it. Sends it around the horn to Hall. Hall closely guarded down into the corner. Stevens back out to Howard. He takes a jump shot from behind. Oh, wow, he, what a uh, shot. He by wasn't Howard. behind the arc, but he was behind the free throw line. And uh, Damon Howard now. Oh, they, they gave him three. Okay. I thought that was going to be a two. Oop. Aaron Fine picks up the foul on Isaiah Hill. Fine. Non shooting foul. Fine gets ready to put the ball back in play. Back to Fine once again. He gets free. That one was tipped on the way up by Isaiah Hill, but I think Hill is going to pick up the foul here, Perry. Yeah, Hill made a nice defensive play, and then on the way down came with, you know, made some contact. You can put Aaron Fine at the line for two more. He's one for two so far tonight from the line. 21 points for the game. Two shots coming for the Millers. Fine now at 22 points. He's an 86% free throw shooter, and he's just about, well, he's two. Yeah, I'm sorry. He's two for four from the line. And I think that play you just saw there with uh, Dayton Stevens coming down the floor, Perry, that's the kind of thing that Jeff Teague is going to work with this team on because Stevens was a little bit out of control. But you got to believe that Jeff Teague will get that kind of. He'll fix that. He'll fix that, most definitely. But you can't fix a, a program in one year. So. No. Foul is going to go on Aaron Fine. Nice jump shot there by Dijon Hall. He's the leading scorer now for the Red Devils. I've got him with uh, 16. Miller's with the ball, four and a half minutes remaining. Ryan Veter back in the game, takes a shot, misses. It was rebounded by Aiden Brewer. Here's Curry, gets his own rebound. That time it goes to uh, Dayton Stevens. Quickly down the court. he's quick. It's Dijon Hall. (coughs) Miller's come right back down the court. With a 23-point lead and four minutes remaining. Neither of these teams have let up anything, Perry. They're still both aggressively going at the ball, which is what the coaches like to see. Play the whole game. High steal by Brewer. Yeah, beautiful. In the corner, Aaron Fine had almost an eternity to think about it. He missed. Curry missed the shot. Yeah, Curry missed, but now here comes Howard quickly down the floor. Nice little layup there by Damon Howard. One thing about it, uh, Brad, is uh, Pike has not quit. No, they have not. Neither of these teams have quit. That one's going to go against Dayton Stevens. That's his first foul. Third team foul of the quarter. Interesting coming in the ball game for the Millers. You know, the one thing we uh, haven't talked about much tonight, but uh, T.J. Davison and Will Smith, neither one, uh, both are starters, uh, are setting out this ball game tonight. And uh, the Millers are like Baron Walker and Luke Etchison and uh, Aiden Brewer have really picked up the slack on this. They certainly starters. have. Hunter Walston. Back and forth across above the timeline. Justin Curry, he's got uh, Damon Howard on him. Walston. Aaron Fine. 
Oh, he kind of just lost the handle there, really. Picked up the foul also. That's And I think that's going to be four on him, isn't yeah, it? I, yeah. I think he's coming out anyways. Adams coming in. To, <laughs> we can always got to find. <laughs> Second one on the team. As there is going out and Adam is uh, coming in. We go in. from one find to another. Yeah. We're really good on that tonight, are we, too? <laughs> good to see. <laughs> well, there's four of us here tonight, so yeah, we're not the yeah. three stooges, at least. <laughs> Larry Fine. Oh, dear. I remember him when I was a little kid. Boy, that's been a long time ago. That's been a few years yeah. ago, right? Mm -hmm. But I've had fun. Pike with the ball. Damon Howard gets the shot off, but he's going to go to the line for two more. Noblesville foul number two, Adam Fine, his first. Team Adam serve. Fine gets the foul. Third one on the team. Damon Howard will go back to the line for two more. He's three for four from the line tonight. Misses the front end. Howard's a 68% free throw shooter. Gets the second, so he's three for six with 14 points on the game. Millers have oh, got to get it across timeout. the timeline, but Coach McCullen calls a timeout. Full timeout. Millers will take a full timeout. You're watching Hamilton County Television Sports presented by Logan Street Signs and Banners in Noblesville. Blades Audio Video Security is Indiana's premier K-12 audio video security provider. Blades AVS is a design build firm that provides high quality solutions that are designed, engineered, installed, and warranted by our team of experts. For over 18 years we've been helping schools and Local businesses see and hear more clearly. We've added securing your facilities to how we can serve you. So whether it is a sound system, your displays, your network, or your building security, ask how our experienced Blades Audio Video Security Team serves your business. How about Sarah Cleverly? Close it with Clev. 317-695-6114. Looking for someone to navigate your, help navigate your buying and selling of a home? Let Sarah Clevery help you find a home of your dreams. Clev's been a resident of Noblesville for almost 40 years. Your next real estate experience, close it with Clev. Back to action here. Damon Howard running the floor. Man, he's quick. They're going to say he was uh, fouled before he shot, so there will be no shots on this. Let's see who the foul's called on. It's Adam Fine on the foul. Well, the Fine brothers have got six fouls between them. Fourth team Oh, what foul. a play. Oh, he stepped the line. Yeah. I thought that was almost a great play there by Baron Walker. Yeah. Saving that ball there. But his foot was on the line. Right in front of the Pike cheerleaders there, too. Hall around the corner to Stevens. Stevens looking for help. Into the corner, all the way across the court to Hall. That one's going out of bounds, and last touch by the Pike Red Devils. 2-0-1 remaining. I think we can safely put this one in the W column for the Millers. Just to have to figure out what that final score is going to be. Adam, Adam Fine. Fine put it right into the stomach of Jalen Ashley. It's going to be Pike basketball here. I believe somebody hit the baseline over there. Oh, wow. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a travel call. Or, or a charge. Yeah. Howard with the shot. 
Another shot. Howard comes in and gets the rebound. The fourth shot is no good. And finally, whoop, Pike comes up with the ball again. And I think we're going to have a foul called here. It's going to be on Baron Walker, I believe. Baron Walker is going to pick up the foul. That's the fifth on the team. So the Red Devils are going to go to the line for two. Damon Howard goes to the line. It'll be his seventh and eighth shot, free throw shot tonight. First one up and good by Howard. He's got 15. He's five for seven right now. Trying to make it six for eight. He's quite the ball player. Yeah, he really He's is. fun to watch. He's really quick. One twenty-six remaining. Nice move there by Luke Etchison. Etchison has got his first field goal of the game. Down quickly. Stevens tried to get it. Could not get the ball. Couldn't get it over the net. Etchison. Under the basket to uh, Ryan Veter. And he gets his first field goal. That's going to be a shooting foul there. It looks like uh, Isaiah Hill will go to the line. And I think that's Yeah, Luke Etchison picks that up. It's going to be his third. Dijon Hall will go to the line. He's seven of eight so far tonight. Now seven of nine. So Hall with 19 points on the game. He and Damon Howard are the only two Red Devils who've been to the foul stripe tonight, Perry. So as we get ready to put this one into the books, invite yeah. you to come and join us here. Uh, what do we get coming up next week, Perry? Tuesday, girls basketball on Tuesday night uh, against Mount Vernon and then Saturday, the boys will be playing here against Connersville. Justin Curry gets a couple more. Timeout has been called. It's been called out just to uh, make a couple substitutions. Max Miller making an appearance along with Adam Fine. Luke Davis in the ball game too for the Millers. Damon Howard takes the shot. He misses. Fine comes up with the basketball. Nice job by Adam there to take that ball. Veter, under 10 seconds. Fine is going to have to move because the Red Devils did challenge him. But that will be it. So the final score of this one tonight, Noblesville Millers 69, Pike Red Devils 46. Perry, your thoughts on this game? Well, I, you know, uh, the one thing about it is 69-46, but I will say Pike battled the entire basketball game. So oh, yeah. Jeff Teague's doing some good things. It's just going to take a little while, and the Millers go to 9-1. and one. I thought this was a very entertaining game tonight. Absolutely. Also like to thank our uh, producer director, Jim Wofford, camera operator, Lucas Lacone. I'd like to thank you for watching tonight's broadcast of IHSAA Boys Basketball on Hamilton County Television Sports, brought to you by Logan Street Signs and Banners, celebrating over 30 years in business. We'd also like to thank our other great sponsors, Noblesville Trophies, Gaylor Electric, Chuck Goodrich, President and CEO. Community Health Network, visit HamiltonCounty.com. Hamilton County Sports Authority, Church Church, Hiddle and Antrim, Blades Audio, Video and Security, Hamilton County Reporter, 
Sarah Cleverly of FC Tucker Real Estate and the Noblesville Youth Sports Alliance. From the Mill, on behalf of Perry Williams, this is Brad Silbert.